Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be riding on the Jimmy Why Not Training Facility. And um, this track is a remake of one in the past. I think it's made by the same people that made the Hurricane Mills Loretta Lynn's in the MX Bikes shop. Not in the MX Bikes mods page. But uh, this one luckily was in the MX Bikes uh, mods page. It'll be linked down in the description if you want to get your own. Or your, I guess if you want to get the track, not your own, but yeah, so this track recently has come out and um, me and my friends have had a lot of fun on it so far. It's just a fun one to ride around on with friends or just by yourself. There's two tracks. I'll be covering the other one in a, in a little bit, but we're going to ride this one for a couple of laps first and hopefully just click off like a good lap or two. Uh... Personally, this track has been probably the most played as of recently just because of uh, of my friends liking it. So, kind of just been on it a little bit more than uh, any other track as of, you know, right now. Kinda, and it, it's enjoyable. It's not like I'm not having fun or anything, too, so. And yeah, the tires do work on this, and... Uh, and the the dirt quality is really good as you can see the ruts hold you well and yeah these tracks just all around they flow really well and although it can be hard to put in a fast lap it's just they flow well you know oh yeah chad reed's coming back or if you guys don't know who chad reed is one of the best of all time in the sport uh especially supercross wise um kind of always just a legend grew up watching him um not really being uh, an, a great fan of his, like uh, anything, but I didn't hate him or anything. So uh, it's cool to see him coming back. He'll be back for World's World Supercross, and I uh, just can't wait to see that. And uh, hopefully, that'll be fun to watch. And um, oh yeah, my video. I don't know by the time this is uploaded, it's probably hit two thousand views on. Uh, super cross on the super cross prep video on the moto mark training facility it's like two videos ago and i can't believe it's at 2000 that is insane to me i am uh beyond excited and and i can't even tell you guys how much it means it's i've always kind of seen a stone wall i've been blocked by some sort of barrier with social media to see a, a video of mine go to nearly 2,000 views is absolutely insane. Um, it's crazy to me that that is even an achieve achievable thing. Uh, I gained a lot of subscribers too, and I'm more than happy. Uh, I can't tell you guys how much it means and how much appreciation I have for all of you guys who watched it and subscribed. Much appreciated. And uh, there was a quality issue with videos in the past. I figured it out now and um, so th this video will be in 1440p instead of the normal 1080 because it I need to raise it above 1080 to get a certain video codec codec if you know what I'm talking about you understand if not basically I need to raise the, the quality to achieve a different um, a different way that my video is processed so that way I can you know actually upload in good quality and it's not blurry and pixely in 1080p uh, so yeah this video is in 1440p if you want if you're not already switched to it definitely recommend to switch to 1440 um, figured that out this morning so this is my first video with it and um, I just hope that it works out well and I'm going to be watching the whole entire video after it is uploaded. Make sure everything is okay. Um, I think we've had enough of this track. I'm going to go ahead and go to the sand track. It is back here. We'll just go this way a bit. Um, all the way back here. So, yeah, and uh, to the whole quality thing, I am sorry for poor quality. I could never really figure it out, so I deep dove into it last night and uh, did a couple of tests last night. None of them worked. Uh, got a little bit more into it uh, this morning, 
and I delayed recording, and uh, here I am. I have the, the issue solved, and this video will still be up Tuesday morning. So, yeah, I uh, so I record days uh, one day in the past from the videos you see. So, like, if I'll record on Tuesday, it'll be up on Wednesday. I record Tuesday morning, and then I schedule my... I upload it that night, Tuesday night. And then, uh... Like, I'm just using Tuesday as an example. And then I schedule it to go up, like, 8 o'clock the next morning. And, yeah, it's just... Something, uh... Something to do, you know? Something that's there, uh, availability-wise that uh just helps a bit more than um just helps a bit more for the whole plan and schedule thing so it's just easier to plan ahead and work like that for me at least but i know a bunch of people that just upload when whenever they upload so they're on no schedule or time or whatever but I'm, i like to try to be that way so yeah, this track is the so-called sand track. There's no sand textures on it. It's just the color of the track. And uh, I'll cross jump there real quick. <laughs> so a wonky. This track is pretty fun. Uh, you do have to check up for this right here. Most of all, that right there is also pretty fun. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that inside right there. Try to get through here. But yeah, it's really fun, uh, especially to ride around on with your friends. It's a good one to get good at it as well. You can get a little bit better at the game. And it's just uh, a bit easier all around of a track than uh, everybody else is used to right now. I don't know what I tried there in the air, but tried it. And uh, this track was... Like I said, it was recreated. This was made in the past as well. Uh, both the tracks, but this one was considered the main track on the last one that was made. And uh, it was remade. I don't know if it was by the same people, but it, it is almost the exact same track. Just different dirt uh, textures and whatnot. So, yeah, well, we're, we're here now and uh, we're riding the newest version and it is super good. And like I said, if you want to get it, it is linked down in the description if you want it. I think that inside's a little bit faster, but the outside's just a little bit more fun and challenging to get. So, I like to do that. Like right here on fourth gear, I can let off at the lip and still kind of get more than enough that I need. You know, it's not no big booty. You do have to gauge yourself pretty hard on it. Um, yeah, it's really, uh, a, what's the word for it, simple, uh, track, but it is super fun. So, it, it's a super simple, fun track that you can ride around with your friends, a lot of different line variations, um, if you're watching this video right now, you're getting, uh, some of the lines down, uh, this right here, jump to the inside. Is probably the most important line of them all but I jumped way too far to the inside uh, it's just not my main line I try to get I just kind of flow on the track it's a fun one to just get a lap or two down so try to just do that probably gonna wrap this one up this video up here soon just uh, give it a, another lap or two I'm down again uh, and if you guys do like the gear and the bike it is uh, mine and we've talked about going pro before and uh, if the races are on Thursday I will most likely my I'm leaning like I'm 90% there um, I would be going pro and Supercross uh, an A250 and uh, I think it'd be really fun uh, really stressful opportunity obviously as I can imagine how uh, bummed I'm gonna be if I don't make it uh, even to the main or uh, even to the heat because I made it to the heat once almost pulled whole shot and then uh get taken got taken out so definitely not my brightest days but can't wait to go back get my redemption on the number 324 Kawasaki machine um 
Love to be racing it. And as far as teams teams go right now, no idea what I'm gonna do regarding teams. Uh, I might make my own. Uh, if anyone in the comments wants me to join theirs, I'm more than happy to. Um, I'll, I'll have to check it out, of course, first. And uh, you guys just gotta give me your little a little bio on what what the team consists of and uh, whatnot. But yeah, it's just an all around like fun experience right now, and I'm just trying to figure it out, I'm trying to put together some pieces and um, like the teams. I think that building a team could be vital to um, to just having more fun. I think. I think if we had a team and a group of people around, um, if you guys have any team names down below that you think of, just comment, please, dude. Uh, if you have it in your mind, just comment it down below under this video, and I, the the message will definitely get to me. I promise you that I look at every comment, or at least I try to. Uh, whether it's on time or not, I can't promise. But yeah, it's uh, been been really fun thinking about it so i can't even imagine what it's going to be like doing it and uh yeah i just would like to make my own team or to i think that a team experience would be fun i'll put it that way um just leave it there uh if any of you guys have a team or want to make a team or whatever just tell me what you bring to the table and uh i'll think about it. i'll definitely contact you once i um once I, once I make my mind up, I'll put it that way. But, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. It was fun. When it lasted, we've been here for a while. So, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a shorter video. 12 minutes going on. Uh, I'm trying to keep it anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe even like 17 minutes max. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below um make sure to subscribe that's a big part of it and um just appreciate all the support as of late um really enjoy it deuces